Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and today we're going to talk about the Layout Editor. Now, if you go into the Layout Editor from your start screen and you try and edit a artist pad, what is most likely going to look like this. You're going to see something and it's not going to look like what you've been using or you created. And if you're wondering why or how to get that to what you want, the easiest and best way to do that, go ahead and turn on the artist pad or whichever mode it is that you want to edit. From there, select a layout and edit the layout. This will show you what's currently loaded in that setup. Now I want to edit my, uh, my artist pad, so we're going to select the artist pad, and from the artist pad, we're going to choose layout, edit layout, and you'll notice that it displays here. If you decide that you want to make a new layout for a different program, what I recommend doing is cloning this one. So you're going to choose Save As, choose a different name, click Save, and then start editing it. So I also have Art Large and Art Small as small buttons here on the side, which you can see. What that does is it allows you to very quickly move between the sizes of the artist pad. This gives you a lot more uh, flexibility on how many buttons you can place on the screen. Now as far as making the buttons balanced here, 0 to 33, 33 to 33, and 66 to 33 is the standard that I would use in order to get these balanced across the medium artist pad. If you want to do two buttons, it's 0 to 50 and 50 to 50. If you want to do one that goes all the way, it's 0 to 100. Uh, the height on these long buttons is 9, these are short, there's 7, and the small ones are 5 for height. The frames, what this does, it allows you to drag the cursor around the screen like a trackpad. And uh, adding a function to it, like the right button down, the middle button down, or the left button down while you're dragging, will adjust certain things. In Photoshop, having right drag with uh, Alt and Control, or I believe also just Alt works, will adjust the size of the brush. Having Shift and Alt with right drag allows for a dynamic color picker, which is actually very cool, and I'd only recently found out about that. If you have a button that's not working, a modifier button that's not working, choosing from the very bottom of this list, right here, blank, and then adding plus one second and the modifier will typically give you a function that looks like this. Uh, you're going to press the button, press the button, and then drag the pen tip. That'll allow you to do a lot of the different things that, that were not working by uh, default with just the standard alt button. And I recommend this for a lot of different programs. Uh, some need it and some don't. Now if you're inside of a program, uh, I recommend keeping the buttons in all the same locations for the same functions so that when you're working with a new program, your muscle memory says undo is in the same spot and selecting your layout is the same spot, uh, adjusting the brush size is in the same spot, and this helps for a lot more fluid uh, experience and a lot less learning or confusion when you're in the zone. Uh, adding this, uh, this menu button is what gives you this functionality. I'd make sure that you have that on all of your uh, layouts and modes that you create. All right, let's go into the full screen mode, and let's talk about the minimize button. The minimize button will give you the option of tapping on that button, and you can't see it because the transparency is low. Uh, right here, there's the minimize button. I tap it, and then touch is native touch. I tap it, and I turn it back on, and it's just a little faster and easier. You can set that wherever you want. And it's a very easy way to turn on and off the 
full screen mode. And it works also on the artist pad and other uh, locations right here. If the font size is off on your artist pad, you can check font and adjust it. I use Font Awesome 5 Pro because I like the icons that it comes with. I think it looks nice. And you can adjust the font size so that it fits inside of here. If you're seeing a large artist pad every time you open it up, but you want to see a medium one, that's selectable right here. Just make sure you hit apply and it'll adjust. If your screen, if your artist pad is off to the side, you can tap it and it will both refresh. So if you've made changes in the uh, layout editor, if you've made changes here and you want to see those displayed, having going to here, artist pad, or I made a, um, if you choose the same exact size as the one you're working on, so this is a medium artist pad, choose art medium and press the button on the screen, you'll see that it's refreshing. So it's a very fast way to iterate uh, new layouts in different modes. All right, uh, that's it for this video. If you guys have questions, put it in the comments or send me an email at justice at tabletpro.com. In the uh, YouTube channel, we go over some uh, very advanced uses and different ways to speed up and improve your workflow with Tablet Pro. One of the things I will be sharing and talking about is a way to create shortcut buttons, place them on your taskbar and switch between modes. All right, until next time, stay creative and I'll see you in the next video.